Friday. We'll get to all the football stuff. We got our regular guys, uh, Danielson and Glazer, uh, and we'll get to some World Series stuff. We have picks, everything else. Uh, the ongoing uh, A-Rod debate and, of course, my debate with how the Daily News has handled it. We've had Bill Madden in yesterday. We got into it again a little bit yesterday. And so the Daily News went after me again today. So I figured we'd get one or, or offer to have one of their other guys come in and we can, you know, debate the facts. So one of the I-Team guys is here today, Michael O'Keefe, who is uh, one of the reporters for the Daily News. Welcome. How are you? Hi, good afternoon. How many... Uh, Guys comprise your unit. There's there's four of us: uh, Terry Thompson, um, Christian Red, Nathaniel Vinton, uh, and myself. Um, you know, they're three outstanding journalists. Um, very privileged to to work with them. Um, you know, we all have different strengths and different sources, and uh, you know, we we you know when we're at our best, we do very good work. Now. Um Yesterday's version was, and it's funny, one of the things at the end of the report that uh, somebody sent me last night that you guys had said was, hey, aren't you admitting stuff was leaked to you? At the top yesterday, I admitted that I had stuff leaked to me yesterday. I said that right straight out, that clearly I had stuff delivered to me yesterday. It was delivered to me on purpose. It was clearly information from the arbitration hearing, which I read verbatim on the air. I admit it was leaked to me. I admit Clearly, that the A Rod side clearly leaked that stuff to me. How about you guys? You want to admit you guys have had stuff leaked to you during this investigation? No, I'm not going to say we've had stuff leaked to us. We have sources. Look, we've been covering this steroid issue for you know 13, 14 years now. Okay. Um, we have sources all over the country, all over the world. Uh, each of us, as I said, we all mm -hmm. have our own strengths and our own sources. Um, you know, you, you you seem to imply or. Uh, you know, suggest that we just wait for Major League Baseball. To no, call no, but us I think say, clearly they have leaked the stuff to you guys. Day. I think no, they have but, absolutely. But we do our work. Absolutely, Mike, we look through leaked. court records. We 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 well, talk some to of the stuff. Well, how would you get inside day. the arbitration here? Well, I mean, you know, let's talk about yesterday. You you, you said that we were leaked some information about you know Major League Baseball paid one hundred and twenty-five thousand. No, 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 no. I said you've been leaked stuff completely along. Why would I, I, I pick a... I, see, you misread that. That's not what I said. I said you've been leaked stuff the entire time from Major League Baseball. You said the stuff in our story the, yesterday was leaked to you've us. You've had about stuff in, in a million stories. Well, that, why would I pick that? That was something that incriminated baseball. I wouldn't say but that. you said it. And I you didn't need that. I wasn't talking about that. I was talking you said about... That was leaked to I us. said everything is... There's been stuff leaked to you guys every day. There's no question. There's been stuff. And a lot of stuff that's been wrong you've gotten from a lot of places, too, which is fine. That's going to happen. Well, we we really you, haven't play, gotten much wrong. Wait I mean, a second. People let's, say things. People say that we got something wrong. You know, you didn't get stuff wrong. To tell you know, you get the Houston story wrong. Uh, I wasn't going to Houston. I read it right here out of your paper, and then, and then an hour later, you guys denied it. Look, we, we're did not you get that wrong? Look, we're not. No, he Wait has saying, permission. Did you get that he wrong? has permission to. to he denies that, that and he, and he didn't story. go to Houston. We wrote he went that to story. Houston. He went to Houston. We, he has permission. Look, my Wait point saying, is how that. Let me make my point. How can you tell me you didn't get that wrong? Mike, did you ask me to come here to talk? Oh my God! Are you going to argue with me? Oh my God! Well, Mike, let me tell you. Say what I say. We we don't get leaks. All right, we work our butts off. We get information. Nobody leaks anything to you guys ever. Nobody gives you guys ever information? You're trying to tell me that? We, uh, Nobody no, hands you, you information we ever. Sources. We, no. People and do never. not hand us information. Never. We're not going to talk about our sources, but certainly people do not hand us information. Everybody gets hand information handed to me. I have information handed to me a hundred times in my life, maybe more. Mike, maybe more. And, I'm not a, and I am not a, a reporter. I'm not an investigative you, you, reporter. You're clearly not an investigative reporter. That's right. Okay. And I've broken a million stories by having stuff handed to me, which I admit. Yeah. I've had it handed to me. You're telling me you've never had information we handed to you? don't work like that. No. You've never had information no. handed to you? No. Never. No. How many okay. times do I have to say it? It's How many times do I have to say it, Mike? Because it's ridiculous. It's, ridi like, it's we work ridiculous. Our off. Wait, but that's just that's ridiculous. That, that it, like that hundred that hundred. You're trying to tell me that baseball hasn't leaked stuff during this investigation. I'm not going to talk about who our sources are or who they aren't. All right, we talk to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. We talk to A-Rod's people all the time. We talk to baseball people. We talk to anti-doping people. We talk to union people. We talk to players. Why would A-Rod's people give you guys anything? We've been anti-A-Rod the, the whole time. Why would they give you anything? You've been anti-A-Rod the entire time. We have not been anti-A-Rod. Oh, totally. Mike, we're only anti-A-Rod because, because what? coming from your perspective, you had this guy on your show 
Twice this summer? Was it well, twice? Well, he or called in twice. Time? I didn't have him on. In. He, he called, called in. Twice. You never once asked him about biogenesis, about suspension, about investigation. I knew he was. you never asked him the most I important knew question. He was not, Did you do drugs? He was not going to answer it. I knew he wasn't going to answer it. So why not ask him anyway? Because why I not knew, put him on the Because spot? I've been doing this long enough. No, he's not going to answer that. Would you all know it? He's never answered it. You think yeah. he was going to answer it for me? He called in. I didn't even invite him on a show. He called. I you put him on the air. You had the opportunity. Who wouldn't put A-Rod on? You're the you you had an opportunity but to I ask him that question. But I didn't even know he was coming. You had an opportunity to ask him that but question. But I knew the answer. Why didn't you bring it up? Why didn't you bring up because the suspension? Because I knew that wasn't going to be part of the no, conversation. Well, the way it works is that they call you up and say, will you take a phone call from A-Rod? And, and you say, phone. sure. Mm-hmm. And they say, okay. Well, let's the, get to the, the fact. The, the let's get, let's get to the fact. We're not going to talk I, about the suspension. Get to the, I've never taken an interview with a ground rule ever in my life. Okay? Ever. Let's get to the, let's get to the stuff. Okay? From the beginning, A-Rod is the whitey bulger of baseball. Why? What no, has that, he that done? That was a line in a Bill Madden what column. What has column he that, done? What has he done? Right, well, I'm asking. What okay. has he done that made him the white, made him the public enemy you of baseball? You asked Madden about that. Well, that was a line you? in Madden's column. I never said he was a whitey bulger of baseball. All right, tell, tell me. You what what has what he done. done? He lied for years. Look, this is a big story, and this mm-hmm. is why we have put resources into it. This is one of the, the biggest names, one of the best players in the history of baseball. Certainly he's one of the best players of his generation, no question. right? No question. Okay, now, he has lied, he lied consistently about steroid use over the years. Okay, he, he isn't he the only, after, isn't he, finish, excuse me, please, isn't he the finish? only guy who admitted he took steroids? Can, can he I admit finish, he took steroids? Can I, can I finish, please? Did can he make, admit he took steroids? No, Mike, I'm not going to play a game. Mike, let me finish the, my, he, my point, okay? Okay, then I'll ask some questions, okay? Because I remember A-Rod going up there and saying he did steroids. Yeah, he lied about it for years. He went on national TV with Katie Couric. He did. Right? And he said, I never did steroids. And then he admitted he then did. Then it turns out in 2003, he tested positive. Sports Illustrated broke that story. You know, excellent reporters, Selena Roberts and, um, and David. Epstein broke that story. Um, you know, Selena wrote in, in her book about her, her very good bio about A Rod that he had been using these these substances going back to his high school days. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's never really addressed that, has he? He does the press conference where he says, "I did it." I did it. He yeah, throws I think his he said that under yes. the bus. He says, "Why did he have to throw his cousin?" But under did he the say bus? he did it? He said he did. It. Okay, are there yeah. other guys who have been on that yeah, same list said they didn't do it? Who, who are you talking or about? Tease? Andy Pettit? You're talking or about. Do you remember Yankee Bring it up Stadium? With Ortiz, then. Why is that my problem? Well, wait. Well, why is that my why, issue? Why, Bring are it up the, with Ortiz. why are the other guys on that list not fair game? We've taught. Look, we've done. Why have big you never story. gotten we've that pursued, list? We've, we've pursued stories about Roger Clemens, about Lance Armstrong, about the Balco guys, Barry Bonds, Giambi. What's your point? Well, that we pick on a Rod? Selective. That's, yes. that's crap. Totally. That's selective. not true. And that's has been for the last year. It's been a, a total witch hunt. Why wouldn't you it's cover this guy aggressively, Mike? Witch hunt. It's You're been obviously a total not a reporter. Witch hunt. Mike. I'm not a reporter. Why would you? Cover? I'm a sports talk host. I'm not a reporter. I, and this has not been my story. Why would you not cover this guy But your guys on this story has been utterly one sided. No. Has now not. let's get to we the, talk now to let's get to it. All, all right, the let's time. get to it. Okay. Now we got the A-Rod. Okay, now we're to the story. Again, now I'll ask. This is about we're gonna ask specific stuff about the arbitration stuff, okay? You guys have painted that A-Rod. Well, first of all, you, the newspaper, not you, the newspaper guaranteed he would never appear in Yankee uniform again. That on was a, a Madden column. No, that was the back page of the newspaper, too. That was just a column. That was, that was column the newspaper Madden. guaranteed he would never. So you told guys you objected to that that that, that story? You, I, I'm not objecting to anything. I'm just telling you. That well, was not in a news Did story. it happen? That was not in a news did story. It no, of course. He played. He, he okay, play. okay, so that was wrong. Now, the Houston story, we know that was wrong. Now. Here, let's get to the let's get what to about what we got right. Let's Mike. get to let's talk about things second, that we got now right. Let's let's talk about let's that. Let's talk about what you what got wrong. What did A Rod do? What did he do? I'm he, still waiting to find out. What did he do? You guys said he would never. He deserved the suspension. He's been lying. Look, if you want to ask what, what did he do? What what did A Rod do? You know, why don't you get Rob Man for? Why don't you tell me there, what he did? I'll tell you why why he is suspended. No, tell me what he did. I'm trying to do, do you that, know but what you he keep did. cutting okay, me off. Okay, what did A Rod do to deserve that suspension? What do you know? Major League Baseball has said, they said this in a press release, I'm sure you can pick it up, uh, that he violated the drug policy multiple times. All right. He, he is, my understanding is that he is suspended for 211 games for, vault, for uh, violating the drug policy multiple times over several years. Does that mean uh, failing drug tests? No, but what you don't mean? need to fail a drug test to get suspended in baseball. Well, how right? many guys have they suspended before this year without failing a drug test? Uh, Manny Ramirez. Without failing a drug test. 
One guy? M- Manny Ramirez? Yeah. One guy? Yeah. Okay, in the history of baseball, one guy. Uh, uh, there may be others. There okay, may be minor now. Minor leaguers. I, now, I, look, so why that's two, not the point. Why the 211? Point what well, did he well, do? What about the other 14 guys? What, what about the other 14 wait, guys? Wait, we're not talking about wait, any of them. Yeah, wait a minute, wait. You just asked me how many other guys. No, no, I no, no, Mike, you. you can't back up. Let wait, me second. finish my thought. Two, 211 Mike, games, why? Why? Look, first of all, let me finish my thought. Two, there, there were 14 guys who were suspended this summer. None right. of them had positive drug tests. The only guy before that was Manny Ramirez that I'm aware of. There right. may be other guys that Absolutely I'm just true. not aware of. Um, he, was, he was suspended for 211 games, according to Major League Baseball's press release, right. because of multiple violations of the drug policy mm-hmm. and because of obstructing their investigation. I haven't seen the evidence. I assume you haven't seen and the evidence. And what have you accused them of doing? What have I accused yes. them of doing? What do you know that he did? What do you, after all your exhaustive research, what do you know that he did? Read the paper, Mike. What do you, I'm asking you. What, I'm asking the audience that hasn't read the paper. What do you know that he did? We know that he was uh, uh, friendly and was an associate and, and you know, apparently an advisor to um, Tony Bosch, uh, the guy that he's now trying to, to, to take down, the guy that you were claiming yesterday is a drug dealer and, and selling drugs to children. Um, that, that it was part of the testimony. You want me to read it to you? Well, no, he's being investigated. I, I'm not disagreeing they, with you. Not, he's being investigated. I don't know if he's a drug dealer to children well, that's or what, not. But, that, that's what, that, that's yeah. not my Can investigation. Can I finish, please? Well, you just said that I Can said I he finish, was, I was trying to explain yeah. why he was a drug dealer because he's been accused Mike, of being one. Mike, I finish, please? Wait a second. You keep running over me. Let me talk. You, you asked ju- me a question. You Let me answer it. You just said that I accused him of being a drug dealer. I was explaining why. Yeah. Now, go ahead. There's an audience listening. you got to explain stuff to them. Go ahead. Yeah, well, please let me, please let me finish my thought. You know. Mike, tell me. Let me ask you a question. Why didn't you well, ask A-Rod when well, you had him forget on Forget the air? A-Rod interview. No, I'm not this is about it. your exhaustive you, research. Our what exhaust, do you know that our, A-Rod Mike, did? We're doing our job. You're what a sycophant. What did A-Rod? You're a sycophant. Wait a second. Why am I? I don't even have a relationship with A-Rod. I don't, I don't even speak. One of my colleagues was saying you gave him a big bro hug back in spring training in 2010. Come on. You're not, you don't have what a are you relationship about? with I've, him? I've never, I've never socialized <sighs> with A-Rod one day in my life. I've so never, you had him on the air, and you never I've asked never, him the, the relevant question. Wait a second. You question, called me a 800 gorilla in what the room, is Mike? My, what is my relationship with A-Rod? I don't have one. Well, you, you, you said I don't here, have one. Well, I think it, this so has been ask, unfair. It's not about a relationship. I think it's we're been, doing you just our call job. Me a Mike, we're I don't reporters. have a relationship with we're this guy. We're reporters. I've gone after the Yankees. The Yankees pay me a fortune, and I've gone after him and jeopardized my relationship with them. That's integrity. They could con- they could s- s- stop my contract with them. They pay me a fortune. They're furious at me. I've gone after the Yankees. That's that's not ta- that's not having integrity. You have integrity. What, what, what do you want me to say? You went after the Yankees. You call me Good a sycophant. I don't have any because relationship you, with A-Rod. Because A-Rod I think you your... guys have attacked him. And he's baseball the, has attacked him unfairly. The... Okay, let me finish. Unfairly. Can I, can I make a statement now? Yes. Can I talk? He's the biggest name in the sport, right? He's one of the best players of his generation, arguably one of the best players in history. No question. Okay? He, he time and time again, he does stupid things. Time and time again, he gets involved with, whether it's, you know, using the bully with his cousin and then he throws the cousin under the bus, whether it's with Galia, whether it's with uh, Dr. Bosch. You Can, know, we quote, unquote, Dr. Bosch. Can we get no, back to this? Can we get back to this allegation? You asked me what he did. I and asked why you, we have why does he have coverage? a 211 game suspension? What do you know that he did? I just told you. You didn't tell me anything. I told you baseball says that he violated their drug policy and okay. that he obstructed their— How did he obstruct it? He bought documents. He intimidated witnesses. So you witnesses. think A—do you know we, A-Rod bought written, documents? We've written stories. You've we've written talked, that he bought documents. Yes. We you think to, he's bought documents? We talked to sources who told us that. That he bought what? He bought, doc, he bought documents going back in the spring. Bought documents from, from whom? Uh, you know— uh, I, what guy? I'm not, I'm not going to tell you who our sources are. I'm not no, going to tell you who, what guy he who bought his them sources from. were. No, go back and read the story if you're that interested. But, you know, we well, were. Well, who did he buy them from? Fred Jones? No, Gary Jones, please. Yeah, I mean, Gary Jones, right? Yeah. He bought no, from Gary Jones? I'm not going to talk about Well, who did he buy them from? Mike, I'm not going to talk about it because I don't want to compromise did baseball our buy them? Baseball clearly bought documents. Did they we buy wrote them? Yesterday, did they buy them ago. in cash? As, as far as I know, yes. Did I, they I, buy them knowing they were stolen when they bought them? I don't know that they... Maybe that, that's they, why they paid I cash. don't know that they know. They, they say, they've told us they don't know that they didn't know that they were stolen. Well, there are affidavits, that. sworn affidavits that, that will state that baseball knew they were stolen when they bought Have them. Have you seen these affidavits? Yes. Uh, can you share them with us? No, I can't show them to you, but I've seen them. And where'd you see them? I've read them. Who showed them to you? That's my business. That's called the source. I read that, but I've seen them. I'm telling you, I've seen them. Was this stuff that was entered into the arbitration? No. 
It so was who's, not. So who's got the affidavit? So show, what are they going to do with them? They're going to enter it in their uh, in the lawsuit that he filed. That's for you to find out. But I'm telling you, I've seen them. I'm telling you, I've seen them. And they're sworn affidavits. There is evidence in this case. I have seen a lot of it. There is evidence in this case. And, and you've seen evidence in the arbitration. Mike, I have, the have day, I seen evidence in the arbitration? The answer is yes. You have seen it? Yes. Okay, so, so then you've put, been part of this violation no, of I didn't. confidentiality. I'm not a, wait a second, I don't, have any, I don't have any violation. What am I in violation of? Somebody well, sent you, it well, to, somebody violated, mailed it to me, so I'm violated, in violation. Okay, so whoever mailed it to you violated that confidentiality Find out who you're complaining about Find yesterday. out who did it. I, I don't really care who, who mailed it. So I had, I'm being honest. Uh, I admitted that somebody sent it to me, yes. And I've read it, yes. Yeah. I have read the arbitration hearing. Yes, okay. I admit that. Now, look, the only reason you think that we are, like, you know, going after A-Rod is because you set the bar so low. Because no, I didn't time and time again, That's Mike, not my job. Mike, I you're didn't sitting set here yesterday. Bar. Let's talk about yesterday. You're Wait a second. Here. I didn't I set please, a bar. There's can no I please bar finish here. My thought? You're the investigative reporters, and your investigative on this story has been so slanted and one sided. It's a ridiculous. That's a bunch of bull. It's Do you not, think baseball has been clean? It's only this one sided. You think if you're a guy who won't ask Wait a second. hard questions. Have you asked Major League Baseball a hard question? Absolutely. What question? Every day, every day. Did they buy stolen evidence? A absolutely. Did oh, they you did buy. They absolutely no, no, bought asked stolen them that evidence. Question. I just I've said, did they buy stolen no. evidence? You said absolutely. I asked them that question. And what they say? They said yes. But no. Oh, I look, said yes. Look, look, look. look. Wait that, a second. Go back. A... They bought. They told you they bought stolen look, evidence. Look. We've asked them those questions. Did you ask baseball if they bought they, stolen look, evidence? Look, look. No. Why we, you we, just we said have, you did? Look, we they they we've asked them. Did you take a deep breath so you can get it right on the record? Take a deep breath. They've told us. Did they? They have not. They did not know anything. This is on a record, off the record. Right. On a record, they told us that, we they not, told you was, right. they, that they did not know anything was stolen when it was purchased. Robert That's what they're telling was you. On a record, when he told us. Okay, that, there okay? are people who will refute that. And who well, are these and people? They'll settle it. Yeah. Listen, they'll yeah. settle that. Now, why would baseball? Did it interest you why baseball would pay cash for this? You, you know, this is part of your your. No, the wait thing a second. You, well, this can is, I, can this, I answer this the question? This bothers me about baseball. Why doesn't it bother you? Let me answer the question. Go ahead. <laughs> you got to let me yes, answer, the answer it. Question. Answer it. <laughs> Look, when you're dealing with an Anthony Bosch, a guy who A Rod dealt with for, you know, God knows how, how long, um, you, you're dealing with unsavory characters. Right. There. You're dealing with people who are selling uh, 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 things like human growth hormone and right. steroids that are, you know, you're either a gray area or it's completely illegal. Illegal, right. Um, when, when so you're, you're dealing do with it, criminals. Look, look, when we've been doing these stories for a long time, when we do these stories, we're not going to Mother Teresa. We're not asking the Sisters of Mercy who is a steroid source but for Mark McGuire. But you're not involved in the story. You're not involved. You're off on a tangent again. Will you get back to um, baseball? Will you please let me finish? It, the world, the world isn't in black and white, Mike. Sometimes you have to take a minute to explain something. Will you give me a, a second? I'm listening. Thank you very much. Now. When you deal with these kind of stories, when you deal with these kind of investigations, you're not always dealing with, you know, the the, the, the most upstanding people. Read Tom Harvey's. You have the Daily News out there. Read Tom Laser. Harvey's. Laser. Can, I, can I please finish? You keep cutting me well, off. I'm not asking about your hey, investigation. Mike. I'm asking about baseball. Mike. You think baseball should be paying cash to criminals? This happens all the time. Corporations, law enforcement, baseball. This happens all the time. Baseball's people not pay in the cash business for this. Baseball's what what difference does it make business. if they've wrote How many a times check? has baseball paid? cash in their many, lives because they can turn around and put that right back on the street. They're criminals. You don't give criminals cash ever. Well, why? They're criminals. A-Rod was hanging around with no, this guy. But A-Rod, you don't know what A-Rod was doing with them. You don't even know and how much he spent with them. With but Bosch baseball shouldn't be dealing with them. They're baseball. But, one but guy is up, one guy. You don't want baseball paying in cash. What is baseball paying in cash? And they had never paid anybody in cash because ever. Because someone can't take a check and go to the bank and then get the cash. Why not? It's like I mean, what, Why would what, baseball what, get down in the dirt with these guys and pay cash or buy stolen evidence? That's wrong. You, you, you seem to be under this impression that, um, that that baseball is somehow like this, you know, uh, corporate angel or something like Should that. Be. There's well, no reason to do I, this I mean, stuff. the fact is ba baseball has its own interests. It's got to protect itself here. You know, the game came under great criticism in the uh, late 90s and early 2000s because Bud Selig and, and other people in baseball, you know, weren't aggressive enough on the steroid issue. How about look the, the other way? How about look the other way? Look the other way. Including Gene Orza and Donald Fear and the players and all of us. 
and all of us. Well, but I would, we weren't I in charge. Put myself in but we were, we, in we were covering well, those stories but, in, but you know in what? 99 and But no one was, no so. one was, everyone was still cheering and going to games. Well, no, not, not, not the Daily News I oh, team. No, okay, I've, okay. I've, well, you I'm guys gonna, are the only guys who were above. No, no, okay? there, were, there were others, too. Okay, but here's the bottom Look, line. The New York Times, bottom, what happens, ESPN, So you think baseball, dirty tactics serve a purpose? I, who says it's – first of all, where's the proof of the dirty tactics? I have talked to um, various people in uh, who are witnesses in the civil litigation that Major League Baseball filed in Florida, people who are defendants, their lawyers, other people who have been dragged into this. You know, there's – talk about dirty tactics. Um, that a guy – you know, there was a story the other day, uh, CNN wrote a story about a guy who, who said that baseball people came to his house, they sat there for eight hours, and they made him uncomfortable. They threatened him. They intimidate him. Why are you letting these guys in your house for eight hours then if you're – no, I mean, some he of shouldn't. this stuff is so laughable. Just throw well, them out of the house. Second. They're not police. They but don't he, have a well, subpoena. That's my point. Well, they don't have a search warrant. Just tell them to get lost if, if you're uncomfortable. You know, Lazaro Colazzo, who's a University of Miami pitching coach or former pitching coach before his NCAA violations. Um, Lazaro Colazzo told me, his attorney told me back in, in April or May, that Major League Baseball had um, come to his house and intimidated him. Uh, you know, this is what we do as reporters. We go and knock on people's doors and we ask them questions. And sometimes we ask questions they don't like. If you don't like it, and it's happened to me a million times... Throw them off your stoop. Throw them out That's of your fine. living room. That's all I fine. Mean, but uh, baseball, you've been you've been dealing with steroids for a long time. Yeah, we're talking with Michael O'Keefe, who's one of the investigative reporters for the Daily News, uh, who's been covering steroid issues for years, and also the A Rod arbitration case. You said baseball sometimes has to go to ex- lengths. How many guys do you think unchecked have been doing steroids in the last ten years? I, I have no what idea. What do you think? I have no idea. You've talked to a lot of players no off the idea. record who have told you numbers, okay? Tell some people some numbers you've heard. I'm not going to tell you conversations. Okay, I I'll tell have, people which, have told me sources. 50%, 60%, 40%, whatever. We know there's a list of 100 names out there that has never been uncovered except Probably for— Probably most of those players retired. By right, now. but there was 100 names that were never uncovered. 103 or 104. Right, whatever think, the name right, was, right, exactly. Right. We don't know exactly, right. but around 100, okay? Right. We don't know how many From 2003. Positives. Right, they which would, has never been made public, pu- right. okay? right. So we know there is a lot of people out there that have gone unchecked. We know that there's no angels in this from the days where basically, according to Fear and Austin, baseball chucked it and took an economic advantage because they wanted it chucked. They'll admit to that, that, that the owners and Seelig looked the other way. We all know that, okay? So they were wrong then. So now to make it look good, they're going to do whatever they can possibly do to get one guy, and that's going to clear up the whole steroid issue for the last 20 years, they trying to get one guy? They guys, Mike. He's the all only guy evenly, that appealed. All the same way. The, he's the only one that, 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 that appealed. So you think I mean, maybe baseball's he tactics a, Maybe are, he could have gotten a lesser— would you be, You're okay with him using cash. You're okay with him not filing it with the IRS, which might well, have been you know an oversight. they haven't filed anything with the IRS? Because, it came, though, because, because I read it on the air for the people yesterday. If you were listening, I guess you weren't yeah, listening to that I was part. listening. Oh, well, then you heard— Did, what did you it, read this from testimony that— Yes. That Manfred said? Yes. Now, 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 Manfred has told us, or baseball's told us, they are going to file, you know. Well, no, they only had 15 days to file yeah. from when they gave it to him. So they were already in violation. Yeah. Okay. And he didn't know expert. the laws. No, they, well, it's, I, it's in the testimony. You yeah. should try looking at it. It's in the testimony. Uh, they, you know, they're not well, sending it to Well, maybe your sources will yeah. get it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know but, who's sending it to you. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But, uh, but I'm telling you, it's in there. And Manfred admits he didn't know the tax laws. They didn't realize what had to be done because they had well, then ne- they'll take the tax because it's they had never Mike. given cash to anybody before. Mike, it's irrelevant. The, the, the it's main not issue irrelevant. Is, sure, it is. The it's issue not is their here. baseball. Did Rod- so what if you- they bought stolen evidence? Is that okay too? Uh, who who says that they they bought I stolen evidence? I said, what if they did? Who says that? What they if they did? paid cash don't because it me, was stolen? I mean, what if the moon was made of cheese? The you're asking me to speculate about something I don't know about. No, I'm telling you, there's evidence that they did. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. I have heard some of the evidence, yes. I've so seen some of the evidence. Have you seen? We've written some have of these things. Have you seen We've written Okay. Yeah. So, I have. Who is it by? Who wrote it? Who signed it? I'm not going to tell you. you got to find out. Who signed someone it? In the ca- someone involved in well, how can the I, case. How can, someone involved in the case. Someone whose name has come up in the case. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you which person. I'm not going to do that for you. It's not, it's not important. I'm telling you it's there. 
What I'm telling all of this you is, is a sideshow, Mike. It's, it's all not about a sideshow. A Rod because do Bay Rod's these con- you don't think baseball's conduct matters here? Of course, baseball's matter. What conducts. if A Rod didn't? What if all A Rod did was take steroids and didn't obstruct anything? Then what is his penalty? Well, how is he different than any of the other guys that well, you well, never, that no one was mentioned? They would say that he violated. They would still say that he violated the game, uh, the game's drug policy. I'm just speculating here, but let's say that they have solid evidence that he used uh, human growth hormone on uh, May 15th, 2010. That's the first. Out. That's the first. What's violation. their solid evidence? Second, well, I'm, let me finish. I'm speculating here. Then they have evidence that he used um, uh, stenozolol on October seventeenth, two thousand eleven, and then they have evidence that he did uh, a- another performance enhancing drug, decadarabolin, on October second, two thousand twelve. Got it. Okay, that's three offenses. That's three okay, offenses. Okay, so then he would get. Okay, then he would get that's, multiple games. Yes. Okay, that's a lifetime ban. But why actually. does why does that three offenses? Why is that so? important to the game versus someone else getting it why is it so important well i don't know what the other evidence is against the other guys i mean clearly all those guys got 50 games that indicates either that there was a deal made or that baseball had uh, evidence that they only violated the drug policy once we'll never know or we most likely will never know because this is all done you know, behind closed doors. Look, and this is a collectively bargained, you know, you're talking yesterday about, um, you know, you want to bring this process out in the public eye. Um, I think both I think sides union, should agree. I th- well, there's more than two sides here. Well, there's how do the you union, think the, the, I'm saying union and owners and, should agree. They, if those two agree. A-Rod, I mean, there's three sides here. A-Rod no, no, is I'm not legal to, team. No, but, I'm but talking about this is a A-Rod as being bargain. part of the player association. Okay. Let the player association take a vote and let the owners take a vote and once and for all clean up this game and let that, let that the list out. The, 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 there, there's scores of players who go through this arbitration, you know, who've gone through this arbitration for, for years. They want this stuff done in secret, behind closed doors, as does, you know, practically every other union in the country. I mean, this is the way labor gets things done. This is not a public issue, per se. It's a public issue because but other labor is a celebrity. But other labor, and a ball other labor unions are not in the public eye. This baseball is a, is a, likes to I sell itself that, as that, a that, public that a trust. Cops union or a fireman's union is, is a far more important. But they, but they surrender. That's a far more prof- important but they profession also, than a ball sur- They also surrender a lot of their rights just by being who they are. That's part of their agreement going in. Sure, sure. But they, and baseball players don't have to do that. But my point but is, is baseball wants to be a labor. trust. If it wants to be a trust, we should cl- all agree to clean up this game once and for all. The way to do that is to let all this stuff out once and for all, and then we can start clean. Then we'll at least know whatever we can know. Until that stuff is clean, you're always going to have innuendo about That's why you're going through this Jack Clark pull holes innuendo. And Mike Piazza, Mike Piazza to answer questions. He's never tested positive that we know about. There's no issue. So why should he have to answer questions? Maybe he's clean, maybe he's not. My point is we should do whatever we can to uncover whatever evidence is out there. Both sides should want to clean the game that way because it'll be good for baseball. That's why I say it. Just like I don't think it's good if baseball acts in in any way, in, in any dirty way to to find evidence. It'd be better if they didn't find it because baseball is a public trust. It's going to be here long after A Rod's gone. Long after we forget A Rod's name, baseball is still going to be here. How they act is important. It's important sure, to me. Look, you know, look, the union is not going to say, and 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 rightfully so, that we want to open this process up to the public because if if you open it up for A Rod, then you're that's a slippery slope. You're opening the door for every other guy who gets. Dragged into an arbitration hearing at some point, every other guy then has it risk having uh, his dirty laundry aired in public. Um, that's the way we do things in America in terms of, of, of labor management relations. This this is not specific or this is just not something that baseball does. This is something that every labor union does. Yeah, but and baseball missed the boat on steroids. They admit that. They all admit that. They all screwed up. They admit that. They let this thing get way far down the road. They would all admit that. You know that. The feeling always have admitted it. Selig's it's admitted it. Uh, gave up a lot of names, gave them a lot of information, had a very powerful effect on the game. You know, Kirk really, you know, in a lot of ways, that should be called the Radomsky Report. Um, but, uh, you know, that, in that report, there were a number of recommendations that Major League Baseball, uh, that uh, Mitchell made to Major League Baseball, including 
creation of this department of investigations that is that did this investigation, did the biogenesis investigation that they followed. If you talk to the people at USADA, if you talk to the people at the World Anti-Doping Agency, if you talk to anybody about uh, who, who knows about uh, the fight against steroids, against doping, people will tell you Major League Baseball has come very far since 2007, and the Players Association has come very that's far fine. in this and that's in admirable. This I'm not arguing no, about Rectify. Well, they are. It's not a perfect system, right. but they have really come. But they very really far. were. I don't think that. I don't think you can argue with that. They I don't. I don't argue far. with that part. But I don't want baseball to go in the mud and deal with criminals to try and catch one guy. You got to deal with you criminals know, when you're dealing with these home kind of now. drug issues. You know, Mike, the, come on, wake up. You don't. You're not dealing with Sisters of Mercy you don't, here. But, Who do you talk to when you want to talk about drug dealers? But baseball isn't the FBI. They have guys who They're are trained law enforcement. They were former FBI, former NYPD. Look, these guys. This is not baseball. Baseball's game, and it hasn't been their game, and it shows it because they've never even done this stuff before. Look, they you, you admit they've never ways, done it Mike. before. Yesterday, you're complaining that they're doing business with uh, with Bosch, right. the guy who's now under investigation for selling. Well, then they made the statements that they didn't care that he, finish, that, he, that, he, that he went to, that he gave that he was selling. Do to you the really kids. believe? Do you really believe that Manfred said that and he did that that smugly? I mean, that was. Do I think I, he? Well, listen. He, did, he, I, he do I a, think he meant it? No. Did he say it? Yes. Does he probably regret it? Yes. He. That's what happens in court sometimes. Did you see his testimony? Did you see a video? No, I saw. I read it. So, so I read a transcript. And so, do you know the inflection in his voice? The bottom you, you line is, you know what? Was, no, he said hey. afterwards. He said afterwards that that, that I take that back was, too. I, he, if no, I that were statement him. was was taken out of context. Do you really think that he's going to say we don't care about kids doing drugs? The bottom do you really line think, is their actions Mike, showed about they didn't and care. Kids with drugs. This is a guy who who he was even a role model to kids for ever since the the mid nineties. Hey, right? everyone and this guy does steroids in two thousand three. He's going to see Anthony Gallia. I mean, a I'm not foundation. painting him as a saint here. I never have, and I never said but he was saying, innocent. But shouldn't he also? He but he's part of baseball. Shouldn't and he, he be held to that standard? But he shouldn't is, he be held he to that is, standard? Yes or no? Yes, but he's one person. He's not the governing body. He's not the game. A Rod, if they suspend, that's fine. They now, haven't. Why didn't you ask they him about that when you had him on Because here. I knew he wasn't going to answer the question. Well, I knew it going in. Well, he, I could sit here and just not say anything. That's either. not it. That's not why. You're, but you, you're here. You, you're you an did investigative journalist. You did everything. But That's ask him not about the issue here. The yes, issue, it is, Mike. The issue here because is you're you, saying we're unfair you are and unfair. it's lopsided and it's just not true. You, oh, we're you're, doing oh, our you're job. You've totally been unfair. You're doing our job. You've totally been unfair. No. You've been one-sided. You haven't written one positive Bull. word about this Bull. guy in five months. What? Not one, not one, not one. Everything's I, been slanted. I've written Everything's stories about. Been slanted. I've written stories that that witnesses have, have I said. I have they've no been axe in, to grind with you guys. I'm just well, looking at it as an objective you guy. Told, you, you're not objective. I am objective. You just told me that we didn't write one positive thing. I'm going to tell you. you we it. did a story in May. I'm just going to pull, pull out one. I mean, there are others. We did a story in May. I wrote it that said that. Um, that Lazaro Colazzo, the guy I mentioned a minute ago, had, been, had felt like he was intimidated by Major League Baseball, that they came to his home, uh, these investigators came to his home, uh, made his wife and children feel what that very A-Rod? uncomfortable. Because you're saying, you didn't write I anything said well A-Rod. positive. I didn't say baseball, well, I said what, what are we supposed to say about A-Rod? We, when, when he hit a home run, we reported that. I mean, what are we supposed to say? That he's a great guy, that he's, look, the guy has a history of doing stupid things, trying to pick up women in the middle of a playoff game, uh, you know, hanging around with Bosch, hanging around with Anthony Gallia, Blaming his cousin. Why did he blame his cousin? I have no idea. For the, for I have the drug no thing. idea. This and is listen, a guy who can't take responsibility guilty, for himself. He should be punished. I totally agree. I'm for making this thing wide open. I was never for settling this thing. I would have been angry if Arod settled it, and, and luckily he didn't settle it because this should have so happened. What happens if he settles it somewhere down the line? He shouldn't here. settle. I'd be angry if yeah. anybody settles it, and I'd be angry if baseball what settles if it he, too. What happens if the the suspension stands up? He gets a 211 game. Then he got what he deserved. Yeah. He got exactly what he deserved. I mean, what happens you, if he doesn't? And what he, happens you if have he no doesn't? Faith that, look, this arbitration process has worked for a number of what years. What happens if he doesn't? What happens if he doesn't? Then the process worked. So do you then recant then they, that then you guys weren't right about him? Oh, of course. If, if that. We have uh, we we've talked to numerous sources over. Look, we've been covering this story for. I'm asking, do you think? He, Can I finish, please? Yeah, go ahead. You answer the question. Yeah, we've. Uh, <laughs> please let me finish. You keep cutting me that off. That could be a yes or no answer. You know. Uh, no, it can't be. It's it's black. It's not black and white. All right, there's shades of gray here. We have talked to multiple sources over multiple months. We've been covering this story for well over a year now. Okay. Um, 
we have been told Major League Baseball has an enormous amount of, of evidence that shows that he violated the drug program. This is Michael O'Keefe, Numerous Daily times. News. Here's what I want you to do, Mike, right now, and I will not say one word. Tell me exactly what you feel confident A-Rod in the appeal did wrong. Right now, what you feel confident that he did wrong, that you feel confident that you the stay, prosecutor. No, that not- you Just tell me what you feel confident that he has done wrong. I just told you. I'm listening. I just told you. Major League Baseball says. Go ahead. Look, I haven't been in these arbitration hearings. I haven't had uh, 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 a front row seat into what has been discussed there. But uh, what I'm telling you is that Major League Baseball, and this is what we've reported, Major League Baseball, um, according to our sources, has got a mountain of evidence that implicates this guy in violating the drug prog- program multiple, multiple times. Um, if they don't, then the suspension and the damning should evidence be, is what you. What I you haven't believe seen it. it. I mean, what do you think it is? It's it's Bosch's testimony. I mean, it's it's Bosch's evidence. Testimony. There's docu- There's obviously these documents that they bought. I haven't seen the documents. I haven't seen the evidence. I'm 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 uh, speculating here, but it's Bosch's testimony. It's testimony from other people who are involved. And what in do you know about the obstruction? Everyone brings up that A Rod has done we more. Wrote a story. He, what do you think he yeah. did there? He bought documents. He tried to intimidate witnesses. We wrote a he story about that. He tried to intimidate that. witnesses? Yeah. yeah. In, what, in what way do you think? I, you, I mean, what way do you report it? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? story six months Well, ago. just let me know what it is. I mean, give, I, me, I give, me, give me a synopsis. I'm not, not paraphrase. What do you think he, he did? He paid money for documents okay. with the idea. Look, remember there was a big brouhaha. One of the things that he did was he, he bought documents. This is going back several months. People may have forgotten about this now. But he bought documents with the idea was that he was going to leak other names to, of other players to the media. You know, Ryan Braun shows up all of a sudden involved with, um, uh, with, with biogenesis after, uh, um, you know, after this whole thing kind of breaks uh, open in January. Uh, we wrote at that time that he had bought documents from people associated with, with this Who Porter there? Fisher and biogenesis. He bought them from those people guys. People associated with these guys. I'm not going to say any more than that. Okay. Um, and, and, uh, and the idea was either to uh, implicate other players or just to destroy the documents, to destroy the evidence, so that, you know, better that he has them and he can destroy them than Major League Baseball has them. That's a story we wrote several months ago. Okay. And what if it turns out he didn't buy any documents? Wow. Uh, you know, I just told you, we wrote a story that right. said that. So you that. feel that he does? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We feel very strongly that he did. Okay. Hey, look, you know. I feel, strong, about, I, feel, I, I feel fairly strong, and I don't know anything about the evidence yeah. baseball has against everybody that's never seen it. Don't know anything about it. Don't know anything about Bosch's testimony, Bosch's time in the in the thing. What I, I have seen certain things, and one of the things I have seen is that, that A-Rod bought nothing before the court case began, the appeal began. This was an affidavit? Bought nothing before the and, case began. And, and how do you know that? What, what, which, and and, and sworn affidavits. Uh, who, who signed that? I can't tell you that. But I, did I, A-Rod, did, is that I'm just A-Rod telling you himself? sworn affidavits that okay. there's testimony that A-Rod has never bought one thing, more than one. And also from guys admitting they offered it to A-Rod and he refused to buy it. And off, also offered it to Randy Levine and, they, and he refused to buy it. But that baseball bought it. So, just to let you know that, and I don't know anything about what Bosch has. I never know anything about Bosch's testimony. But you know, like an affidavit, unless you do something with it, it it's as worthless as this paper, right? Uh, you know, well, if you that, enter that, it as is, evidence listen, into a lawsuit, that's what I mean. people have to if testify. You it, no, if you that, ever that's what I mean. enter it as evidence in a lawsuit or an arbitration, then, then it becomes fine. valuable. That's what I mean. You know, right now I could walk around saying that no, the moon these is made are, of cheese and I have an affidavit. But, the, but that those says days that. are coming. You know, those days are coming. Yeah, I, yeah. And, I, and I'd like to see that stuff. And if you get it, please share it with us. I don't have I mean, I don't have it for public. It's not up to me to make it public. I mean, that's. That's not my right. I just had a right to yeah. tell the audience about it. I don't have yeah. a right to share it with people. Yeah. I mean, obviously. But my point is that there might be, and to me, the picture, and it was almost it was almost in the summer like A-Rod was John Dillinger and was going to be put in a position where not only did he do steroids, but that he has threatened people and bought everything and tried to bring baseball down and all these other things. And I just haven't seen that evidence that that's true, that that's, that he's done all that stuff. Now, maybe he did steroids. I, I, you know what? If he did steroids, I'm not going to be surprised. He's done them in the past. So no one doing steroids is going to surprise me. Maybe Derek Cheetah. So, so you know, you're but, saying he deserves 150 games I don't know. What he, that's not up to me to decide 50 that. 50 games? 150? Hey, listen, he deserves whatever the evidence that they lifetime can prove. Lifetime ban? I mean, if he, if he... I don't think he deserves a lifetime ban. I, I, w- I wouldn't think that. But I would think 
he deserves whatever the evidence says that, you know, that's not for me to decide. That's not, uh, and, uh, and I think I'll trust the arbitrator to decide that. I, I will. Yeah. But the point is, I do think that baseball has had a campaign from the beginning. I think the Yankees never wanted them back and wanted to do everything they could to keep them off the field, which they did for as long as they possibly could, which has gotten me into hot water with the Yankees. But that's what I think. And I think that the testimony and a lot of the coverage has been slanted. That's just my opinion. That's it. That's why I brought you in to debate it. So well, everyone's and, got an opinion. And but what you else know what would they you, say about opinions? Yeah. And so. what else would you like to close with? You want to add anything else? Go ahead. I, you know, your opinion is wrong. We've been very fair. Uh, okay. We talk to A Rod's people all the time. Um, you know, and and I guess going back. You know, looking at all of this, the, you know, the, the, the whole idea that you of all people are accusing us of being unfair when you had this guy on the air. I mean, you can continue to. You, 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 yes, How I treat you, him on you, the air doesn't mean that you, you had him on the air. That, that mean, a lot of people think your coverage well, has been unfair. Not a just A lot me. of people think it's been great. You know, well, we sure won, that, we, sure we won a number of journalism of, awards yesterday, um, uh, last year rather, for our uh, our biogenesis. Oh, coverage, it's not so. about awards because I've won a bunch too, so it's not about awards. Okay. Well, so, you know, I've our peers, plenty. our peers respected yeah. our work. Well, I've that, won plenty. That's too, pretty okay. important to yeah, us. Yeah, well, so. I've won plenty too. So yeah, good I mean, for you. It's not about awards. Good okay. for you. You get a cookie. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's not about awards. Yeah, okay. no, but our our peers have respected our okay. work. Our readers have respected our work. You know, Mike, you come at us like we're somehow unfair. Yesterday, you went on and on about Manfred dealing with a drug dealer, and you know what. What? You know what? You never had his side of it. All you had was an anonymous source in no, an AP I didn't, story. I didn't, no, no, I didn't. You never mentioned it, that Manfred second. denied this. Wait a second. You I didn't have, deny that. I you have didn't the say, testimony that? that he gave in an arbitration case. I heard. I read what he said. Yeah. And what he said looked very bad for baseball. He and basically said, I don't care about that. I only care about what concerns us. It's not their us. jurisdiction. Okay. Their, I don't care. Is not that's, that's that I don't care about kids. Is not job. what you that's, want to say. No, it's not what you want to say. That's not their jurisdiction. It's still wrong. That's not they their jurisdiction. They gave cash to criminals. It's not a smart so, move. A Rod bought documents too. And you know what? We've it, got stories. Uh, we wrote stories about that. We'll see if that's true. We'll see if it's true. You're going to prove that. That he I can't. Never I don't have to right, prove it. That's right. not my job to prove yeah. it. Yeah. I just but said, we'll, here telling we me. will see if it's true. All I said is it might not be true. That's all. I didn't. It will be proved out. We'll see if it's you know not everything's always proved out because we know That's that right. guys we think did steroids still get off. We've seen him get off. Haven't we seen Roger Clemens get off? Well, he, he, did he get uh, off? Not, he, he was acquitted of uh, perjury, but I don't think anyone thinks. <laughs> but I did mean, he get does off? Does anybody think Roger Clemens got off? Did He's you not think he was going to get off about that? He got. He was acquitted of did perjury. Did you think he'd win that case? Uh, you know, honestly, honestly. I thought you that didn't. the government no no I thought the government had a good case but I thought that uh, particularly after um, the the mistrial in the year before uh, the, the the steam really came out of that for the government and you know you got to also say one thing about Clemens he had an excellent legal team walking into that trial in 2012 in 2011 I thought you know, this is a pretty good case that the government has. In 2012, I, I can't say that I thought this is a slam dunk for the government. He has excellent lawyers. He's got an army of lawyers. Um, you know, the government had a, a weak witness, uh, a couple of weak witnesses, Brian McNamee and a couple of the other people. I think it you comes know, down Andy to whether Pettit these guys really are believable. Kinda, Andy well, Pettit they wouldn't really let kinda, him either. They wouldn't let him either. Yeah. His stuff wasn't allowed to be admissible, right. which is always a joke. Right. But, I mean, that's part of the legal system. But, hey, that's why, you know— how good are the witnesses here either? You know, are they believable? That's a, that's a big issue here. Whether these guys, are, none of them look to be pretty, they don't look to be quiet boys, these guys. No, but that, that's the, the, the whole issue. When, when, you're, when you're talking about these kind of drug stories, these drug cases, these drug investigations, that's who you have to deal with. You're not dealing with the Sisters of Mercy here. You know, there, there are people who, uh, you know, if someone is, is selling human growth hormone illegally, illicitly, steroids, all of these different drugs, these are not choir boys, right? right. You know that. You know, if you want to clean up your game, you know, fortunately, sometimes you have to deal with people like that. I mean, sometimes these are just people who, you know, made mistakes or went down a wrong path. You know, um, Kirk Radomski, a great guy. You talk to his neighbors. The, the, these people love this guy. Um, you know, he's not, a, he's not a bad person. He's not a criminal. He made mistakes. He did something wrong. He paid for it. He did his time, and, and uh, you know, he served his probation, and, and now it's over with. I don't know this guy, Bosch. I have, we haven't had an opportunity You've to You've never talked to Bosch. No, we've tried to, but we, we haven't had an what opportunity to talk to him. What do you know of Bosch? You know, he, he, we know that he spent a lot of time with A-Rod for a long time. He was his nutritional counselor. That's what A-Rod called him. That's not what I'm calling Clean him. Clean and dirty, though. Well, obviously, he was, you know, the allegation is that he, he was selling illicit drugs. Um, you know, 
13 players who were suspended this year all took their, their suspensions. You know, only one appealed. So these 13 are saying, yeah, we got banned drugs from this guy. And the one guy, the biggest name in all that, he's somehow special. He's well, somehow different. I think part of that I is mean, that, that's a, some guys don't have the wherewithal to fight. You, you need, a, as it's proved here, you need to spend a lot of money to fight baseball. This has cost a fortune, I'm sure, to I'm fight sure baseball. It has. And, I'm you know, sure. not, most of those dollars. players couldn't afford to right. do it. I mean, it, right. it, it'd, be a, it'd be an expensive fight. He's right. the one guy who could probably, I don't know who else could have done this fight. Maybe Braun could have if he wanted to, if he had the appetite. Maybe he could. And he had the same lawyer at one right. point, David right. Cornwall. Well, listen, I appreciate you coming in. Thanks. Thank you. Michael Keefe of the uh, Daily News I team back after this. 